Hi guys, this is a video on um, the pros and cons of powdered chalk versus liquid chalk. And if you do powerlifting, then you're going to need one or the other, especially for heavier weights, if you want to save your hands. So, <clears throat> uh, right off the top, I'll say that most commercial gyms do not like powder chalk because in their opinion it gets all over the place and um, gets the platforms quote unquote dirty and you respect that if that's the gym rule. Powerlifting gyms, that's not an issue. So if you go to a commercial gym, I still have something an important message for you. So, what is liquid chalk? Liquid chalk is essentially alcohol, 91% isopropyl alcohol, and magnesium carbonate, and that is the chalk that's normally used. It's a salt, and you can buy it in blocks, or you can buy it powdered. Now, if you want to make your own liquid chalk, which is I highly recommend that because you know what ingredients are getting in and you can make it with the lab grade material, then you mix 91% isopropyl alcohol with magnesium carbonate, which you can buy off the web and you're home free. And there are two major advantages. The first being that it's an antiseptic because of the alcohol. So because it's an antiseptic, uh, you're gonna get tears in your hand when you lift and you use the liquid chalk before and after and voila. It's also an anesthetic. So in my opinion, those are two major advantages of using liquid chalk. Last but not the least, I suggest that if you, if you are gonna use liquid chalk, then you make it yourself and don't buy it because you don't know what other chemicals they're putting in and what other chemicals are getting into the system. In my opinion, the downside of using a little bit of alcohol is more than offset by the two positives that I gave you. And if you make it yourself also rather than buy it, your cost per unit is gonna be what, 10, 15 cents per little bottle versus 10 to $15, but that's, less of a consideration. The important thing is you're going to save your hand and you're going to do it right. So if you have any questions and comments, please post them below. Again, um, do have a nice day and safe lifting.